A multi-year construction project in Boardman is taking another turn. Western Reserve Road's a long, straight road, which is being widened. But local businesses are finding a bump in the road now with that plan. First News reporter John Rudder joins us live to explain. Yeah, Dave, good evening. Well, one business that we spoke with uh, tonight opened just a couple of months ago, and you can imagine how stressful that is trying to get a new shop off the ground. You couple that with a road closure that's happening right outside your front door, it really ramps that stress level up, and now they're wondering what the future holds. Thursday morning, the Mahoning County Engineer's Office asked commissioners to approve closing Western Reserve Road at the Market Street intersection. The latest bump in the road, all part of the Western Reserve widening project. It's an inconvenience, but I mean, on a scale of one to 10, I would put it at probably like a four or a five. But I mean, if you shut down that intersection, that jumps to a 10. Ron Taylor recently opened up boards to gather at the end of February, and now a shutdown of the busy intersection has him worried about what's next. It's tough enough getting a brand new business off the ground in the first place, and then you start layering on top of it challenges that are completely out of your control. It, it really creates a high level of anxiety from a business ownership standpoint. The closure will begin Monday, April 29th, lasting about three weeks. Construction crews will be relocating a fiber optic bank and installing a cross culvert. I mean, for charcuterie and gifting, one of the busiest days of the year is probably going to be Mother's Day, and it seems to me like this might impede my Mother's Day business dramatically. But businesses say they weren't given any heads up about the closure and are frustrated with a lack of communication. It's not just my business here. We have have about 85 vendors in the store, so it's affecting about 85 small businesses that are also relying on, on being able to pay their rent and, and sell merchandise. Both Neapolitan and Taylor say they don't know what to expect and aren't sure what detours to even instruct customers to take. They're hoping to get more clarity before the closure officially goes into place. If you drive by here, even at 6.30, you're going to see the traffic cuts down in half. You've got those gentlemen working and their safety is in jeopardy. Why can't they do this project in the evenings? We reached out to the county engineer's office to see if they had any more details on this project or the closure itself. Also checked in to see if they had any details on a potential detour. We will update our website, WKBN.com, once we get that information. Reporting live in Mahoney County, John Rutter, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.